What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 47. Today, I'm going to show you how to T-pan your voice in Logic Pro using the pitch correction plugin in that comes bundled with Logic Pro. Now, basically, a lot of people think autotune is only that sound that T-pan gets, but really, every song uses it that is on the radio today. Record labels won't let it pass through unless everything is in key, perfect pitch, and everything. Everyone uses some sort of autotune in their songs on the vocals, on whatever, whether it be Melodyne, Pitch Correction Plugin, I'm going to show you right here in Logic, or autotune, everyone uses. So with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So right here, I got a little clip of me singing some harmony. It's really bad, I'm going to warn you. So if you want to turn down your volume, you can go ahead. But I just want to show you how bad it is and then how good we can make it. Now, I purposely sung really bad, so bear with it here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So here we go. All right, so there it is right there. Like I said, it's really bad, but we're going to go ahead and bring in the pitch correction software plugin that comes bundled with Logic Pro. So first step you got to do is select your track, go to the inserts section, go to pitch, go to pitch correction, go mono, and right here is your pitch correction plugin. It's basically an autotune, but Logic Pro's version. Uh, this is your little keyboard right here to let you step input what notes are in your scale, but Really, you don't really have to do that. You just got to go pick your scale that your song is in. Right now, I don't have a song, so I'm just going to go to a major scale, and I'm going to do C sharp. So it's the C sharp major scale, I'm going to lock my vocals to that scale. So really, you don't have to really change anything in this plugin to get the T-Pain effect. One thing you got to change is your response time. So you want to bring your response time all the way down to fast. You want to hit hard, so when it jumps to note to note, it's going to be jumping and make that little pitch up and down sound that we want. Or some of me, some of us may want. Some of us don't like it, but some of us may want it. So again, bring it all the way down to fast, and you will adjust your detune to match your vocals. Keep in mind, this will change the pitch of your vocals, but you need to turn it up or down to kind of get that sound that we're looking for, that kind of matches your vocals to get that T-Pain sound. So I'm going to go ahead and play, and I'm going to adjust this detune right here. Oh. All right, so there we have it right there. What I like to do, kind of this is very quick, but what I like to do is kind of go up and down on the detune, hear what sounds better to me, and just kind of go with something right there. So I went with 24 cents, so that is it right there. Next step we got to do to make this sound good is bring in EQ. And what we got to do with an EQ is bring out the highs. So what we want to do is bump up the highs because this is going to really bump up that little robot sound that T-Pain gets. So it's going to bump it up a little bit more. Let's hit play. Here it is without. Here it is with. All right, next step we got to do to get our vocals a little nicer sounding is bring in a reverb. So I'm going to go to reverb. Space Designer, I'll pick a Space Designer Reverb, and I will bring in a uh, small space, small hall shirt. I'm going to go ahead and play it. All I'm going to change is the wetness level right here. So we already got it sounding pretty nice now. And last thing we got to do is bring in a echo or delay plugin. I'm going to use the echo plugin because, well, it's quick and easy. I'm going to go ahead and play and adjust it. So there we have it. We have a sort of T-Pain sounding harmony right there. Very quick, very easy in about two minutes time. 
And from there, we can go ahead and adjust more things. A lot of people like to add chorus to their uh, chain of plugins as well, just to kind of soften up that vocals. But um, you can do that if you want. All right, so right here, I got a vocals that I kind of sung. Again, it's bad, but purposely it's bad so we can show you how the pitch correction plugin works. Now, I got all my settings copied from this track right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play, play its dry uh, format of that uh, file, and then I'm going to bring in the plugins and you'll see the difference that it's going to make. So here we go. All right, okay, I'm going to T-Pain my voice. And I will do it so good. All right, okay, I'm gonna T-Pain my voice and I will do it so All right, okay, I'm gonna T-Pain my voice, and I will do it so good. All right, so that's how you make a bad singer kind of semi-good like I just showed you right there. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind when you're using this kind of plug-in or auto-tune or Melodyne, you got to sing into it. So you got to learn how to move your vocals up and down the scale just to kind of make it get that little sound that we're looking for. You got to kind of practice. So kind of play through it, turn your uh, plugin on and kind of sing into it and practice because uh, you got to sing into it right to get this desired sound that we're looking for. Like you heard here, I kind of went up and down really badly and the worse you sing, the better it's going to sound. So keep that in mind when you're going to use this. I'm Anna from I'm Music Mogul. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section. And as usual, more great videos always coming soon, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Later.